With the Tokyo Olympics one week away, we are joined by an athlete to watch. But don't blink or you'll miss her. 21-year-old Sydney McLachlan is being hailed as the future of track and field. Yeah, a few weeks ago, Sydney set the world record in mm -hmm. women's 400-meter hurdles after the sprint to the finish at the U.S. Olympic trials. Wow. Mm -hmm. And Sydney McLachlan joining us up early there in Los Angeles as she prepares to head off to Tokyo. Sydney, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for getting up early. You, you've been running since you were six years old. You qualified for the Rio Games when you were 16. No medals in Rio. Uh, but a lot of folks who watch the sport closely say this is your time. What have you learned in the five years since Rio? So much. Um, I'm super, super grateful for that opportunity. I think it definitely taught me what it's like to be on the biggest stage in the world, compete with the best athletes, and uh, so many things from just that whole year that I'm taking with me into Tokyo. Sydney, I thought this was sweet. Right after your amazing accomplishment, you posted in part on Instagram, quote, my faith was being tested all week from bad practices to three false start delays to a meet delay. And you said, I just kept hearing God say, just focus on me. Talk to me a little bit about that post. Is faith a secret to maintaining your commitment and your drive, even after these Olympics were postponed? Absolutely. Honestly, I think that this year has been the biggest, you know, part of my success um, coming out of COVID in a year of so much uncertainty, uh, I really found stability in, in Christ and in my faith. And um, even in crazy meets where there's so much on the line, um, I always have something to hold on to. So. Mm. And I feel like in every sport, there's rituals, there's good luck charms, but yours are a little bit unusual. What's what's in your bags? <laughs> I do have a lucky minions blanket that I take to every meet. <laughs> oh. I always charge up before a race with some gummy bears. Gummy, <laughs> gummy like, bears. How many gummy bears are we talking? Okay, I listen. I love <laughs> to try to self control, but if it ends up being the whole pack, then I can't be mad at myself, you know? <laughs> I mean, You'll run it. I was just about to say, I'm about to start chewing gummy bears. The there's going to be a run on gummy bears <laughs> coming up. Uh, so, so uh, there's been so much of a spotlight on track and field, including this idea uh, between you and Dalila Muhammad, the reigning gold medalist in the women's 400 meter hurdles, uh, and you broke that record. Uh, so, how do you cope with that kind of pressure? And and do you feel like there's a rivalry? You know, media is always going to make it out to be bigger than what it is. I look at it as iron sharpening iron. Um, mm. I wouldn't be able to run these super fast times if I didn't have her pushing me the same way. Mm. You know, I'm always there to kind of push her. So it's awesome to just have someone there um, and, and all of us, you know, representing Team USA. It's really cool to just see us go back and forth all the time. Mm. I mean, you, you train with uh, the, the famous Bob Kersey, who coached his six-time medalist wife, Jackie Joyner Kersey, and Alex and Felix, who, of course, is the most decorated American woman in Olympic track and field history. Is, is she the one that you watched compete when you were growing up? Absolutely. Um, I looked up to Allison the whole time I was growing up and watching track. So to be able to train with her now and and Bobby, the, the knowledge that they have and experience, uh, I feel like every day I'm constantly picking up and learning things that I can take with me throughout my career. I want to squeeze this in because the reality is there's a whole village behind a lot of these athletes to get you get you where you are. So due to COVID restrictions, your parents, track stars back in the day themselves won't be in Tokyo. Will that be hard for you? And I understand they sent you something a little special to take with you. Absolutely. Oh, yeah, that's a uh, cardboard cutout. <laughs> <laughs> that's hilarious. Because they could they couldn't be here for my birthday. But, um, yeah, uh, it's going to be definitely different, you know, not having them there. But I know that they'll be supporting me and, you know, staying up to whatever hours of the day they have to to be able to talk to me. So um, they'll definitely be there in spirit for sure. When are you taking off? When are you heading out, heading out for Tokyo? I leave on the 24th, so next Saturday. Okay, right. we're going. Yeah. yeah. All right. We'll be on the we'll same other. Exactly. <laughs> we will see you in Tokyo, Sydney. Sydney McLaughlin, thank you. Best of luck. Good luck. Thank you so much. You Absolutely. Bet. And a reminder, folks, in case you hadn't heard, you can catch all the action from <laughs> Tokyo starting in one week from today. Watch the Tokyo Olympics beginning next Friday, July 23rd, on all the platforms and networks of NBC. 
Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.